The evidence is clear. What we eat makes a difference to our planet. Agriculture accounts for more carbon dioxide equivalent emissions than transportation. And most experts agree, we cannot meet net zero targets without changing our diet. Food production also contributes to water stress and it's the single greatest cause of harm to nature through habitat destruction and the nutrient pollution that arises from farming. Food production and consumption are inextricably linked. We need to look to make changes in both to create a virtuous cycle of change. But while we wait for policymakers to step up, what can individual consumers do to make a difference? Three things stand out. We need to avoid eating more than we need, to cut down on the amount of food that we waste, and reduce our consumption of meat and dairy. We know that eating too much harms our health, but producing that excess food creates emissions that contribute to global warming. Planning what and how much to eat is a good strategy to avoid overeating and help control our weight. But it can also help us to shop more mindfully too, reducing food waste. Food waste occurs across the supply chain, but in the UK, more than a third of the waste is in the hands of consumers. And it's costing the average UK family about £700 a year. Food in the UK is relatively cheap by historical standards, which encourages us to buy more than we need and to be less concerned about waste than our grandparents. The message is clear. Buy only what you need and eat what you buy. Finally, beef, lamb and other meats from ruminant animals produce the highest carbon dioxide emissions per kilogram of food around 10 times more than vegetables or cereal-based foods, such as bread or pasta. Some people decide to give up meat completely and become vegan. But animals are an important part of our agricultural ecosystem. Well-managed grazing by livestock can avoid the need to add synthetic fertilisers and improve grasslands so that they capture more carbon from the atmosphere. But for this approach to work, we need to reduce global demand for meat. This means we'll need to raise fewer animals, and we can build livestock into global farming practices without clearing more land, especially in water-scarce areas or regions with fragile ecosystems. Evidence suggests that if half of UK meat and dairy consumption was replaced with vegetables and cereals, there would be roughly 37,000 fewer premature deaths from cardiovascular disease and cancer every year. And diet-related greenhouse gas emissions could be cut by 19%. That's a win for people and the planet. Individuals need to play their part, but at COP26 in Glasgow this year, we need policymakers to agree on ways in which they can help reshape the food system to make it easier for all of us to eat more sustainably.